Hello guys. Welcome back to another pretty video today. This will be my third upload right now. Um, I'm going to be going over all the Halloween content that's in the uh, dirt feed of this DLC and some of the uh, clothing unlocks and outfits um, that's also in the drip feed of this DLC as well. So let's get right into it guys. So the first thing that is I'm showing here and on the screen on Twitter um, is the livery I mentioned. The Ghostbuster livery um, that's of course tied in with that ghost, the ghost collectible that's coming uh, this Halloween in the Halloween um, event um, that's coming later this year in the drip feed. Um, so the Albany Burgum or Burgum the four-seater Cadillac, this vehicle, this will have, this livery can go on this car, so, yeah. And, uh, you see the siren that's on top of the hood? I mean, not the roof, I mean. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, uh, that is the siren that you see in the, uh, on this car uh, for the Ghostbuster vehicle in the Ghostbuster film. So you can actually add, and also there's actually a horn upgrade, or this car has a, a, an interesting horn upgrade or I think it already has it applied to the vehicle when you buy it I think but it has the same horn from the movie so that's cool but yeah you get this cool ghost exposed uh, livery for the uh, Albany uh, Beckerham all right the next few pictures are just props Halloween props that are they're adding um, this later this in the Halloween event or the Halloween update I mean it's coming uh, in October, of course, later through the Dreadfear, of course, later this year. So they got like a, you know, a, um, s uh, like a, s uh, this, um, trying to think, uh, you know, the thing, the, the statue, the cemetery statue, whatever, uh, the gravestone. <laughs> so there's a gravestone prop. Here's a prop of a bucket or a crate with pumpkins in it. And then you got a dead ghost. So this is actually that's part of that when I showed you the I just showed you, when I showed you that lever a minute ago, a second ago, um, that lever you get for the Albany Buckingham. Um, that's how you get it by completing. And these are one of the ghosts you take a picture. You have to take a picture of in that collectible. So yeah, and then it's of course you know a prop, but you know it's part of that collectible. You know, and then um. This is one of the events they're adding, the time trials, like I mentioned, guys, the Junk Energy Bicycle time trials, of course, yeah, and, um, though, of course, I think these are also going to be daily as well, like they did, they kind of changed with, up with the RC Bandito time trials in-game, those are daily now, now the normal time trial and the HSW time trial, or weekly, and the premium, uh, premium um, race is also week, uh, weekly as well still, but the RC Bandito time trial is been changed to where it's daily now it wrote it changes day, every day and i think these time trials will also change every day as well like the rc benito time trial change that it did with the rc benito time trials guys so yeah that's the first event or the first thing that's that's, that's not an event but well it's like an event but it's the new time trials we're getting that are adding in the direct feed of this of the san andreas mercenaries dlc and then they're bringing back the armored trucks are returning in gtl in 2023 and i'm excited this will be an event and, um, I think this is coming, I think this event's coming pretty soon, I think. Um, I just made a Newswire video going over, of course, the Newswire course and about the DLC and the Event Week, of course. Um, and they kind of mentioned this in that, in the Event Week Newswire. So, if you want to go check that video, you can, um, and stuff. But, yeah, the armor trucks are returning. I, I'm happy. Of course, here's a picture of, this will probably be the screenshot Rockstar uses or maybe a different one. But these are the armor trucks that are returning. That were in GT Online way back on the PS3 and 360 days. And now they're coming back in GT Online um, for the PS4, Xbox One, PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X and S versions now. I'm excited. Here is some of the outfits that are in the direct feed of this DLC. And actually, some of these, these outfits right here that I'm showing y'all are outfits of characters. So this one's, of course, this outfit is, of course... For Trevor, or Trevor's character. This is Trevor's outfit, basically, that we in online, or online characters can wear. So that's awesome. Here's Michael's outfit, and here's Franklin's outfit. Of course, these three outfits are drip feed, so who knows when we're going to get these, <laughs> guys. Just saying. And then here are some t-shirts that um, are also in the drip feed um, of this DLC. And these shirts are mass tee, or they're like 
t-shirts, like mask t-shirts. So the mask, like the the emblem that's on the t-shirt, the that represents the protagonist character. So this represents Franklin. This t-shirt, this the yellow skull mask t-shirt represents Franklin. The pink, hot pink uh, Jason uh, ski mask represents Michael. And this one, the monkey mask represents Trevor. So yeah. And then here's some other t-shirts. This one says Rockstar says relax. I think this is Rockstar telling us to relax and chill about GTA 6. And they're probably saying, relax and chill. GTA 6 will be here pretty soon. But just relax. No, Rockstar, we're not going to relax. We won't Grand Theft Auto 6 right now. <laughs> just kidding. I mean, yeah, I'm not kidding. I mean, I, we won't GTA 6, but it's funny how Rockstar threw this shirt in in the draft feed of this DLC. Pretty pretty cool. Next shirt is a Buckstar t-shirt. So if you like the Buckstar clothing like in GTA Online, then yeah, here's a t-shirt. <laughs> a Buckstar t-shirt. The next one is the um, construction site t-shirt. So if you like the name of the construction, or if you like, I guess the name of the construction site uh, company, well, you get a t-shirt that's in the Jeff feed of this DLC. Also, here's the junk energy racing suit. So how you get this? Now you could already claim in game right now. You already can get the helmet and the goggles, but you can't get the top or the pants. Not until they add the time trial. So you have to complete the like your very first junk energy time trial. When the junk energy time trials get added, you can complete one at first time, and you unlock this this entire outfit, this junk energy racing suit. So yeah, pretty cool. There's some pretty cool outfits they're adding in this DLC. I'm, I'm excited. Throw the draft feed. They're also adding a Go Go Space Monkey hoodie. So if you are if you like the Space Monkey um, clothing or um, even the Space Monkey of uh, car that you can get in game from the arena war i think um well you may want to add this hoodie to your space monkey collection <laughs> so yeah um we're also getting a black los santos t-shirt so yeah we're getting a lot of drifty clothing and outfits <laughs> we're also getting the san andreas republican tee so yeah more t-shirts it seems like <laughs> and then the final uh t-shirt that I can show off um, from from screenshots uh, that's in the direct feed of clothing, you would say, is the GoGo Space Monkey black tee, or yeah, it's just a t-shirt. So you can now you can get the hoodie like I mentioned a minute ago. I showed off, and then now you can also get a t-shirt. All right, so uh, I think that's it. Yeah, that's something about GTA Six and stuff. But yeah, um. I wanted to show off uh, the uh, how the time trials will work and how the uh, Halloween collectible will work. So we're going to go to Wabrick's page real quick. And he'll show us how the... Uh... So I guess it's not popping up. I guess you can't hear any sound, I guess. I don't know why the sound's not working, but it says the ghost hunting collectible between 8 p.m. and 6 p.m. A ghost will spawn at a different location each hour. There are 10 ghosts that need to be photographed. Only after, only after taking a photo of all nine photos, a special ghost will spawn spooler at 0 dot dot 29 in video to complete the set. And then, of course, this is the the message or, I think, email you'll get in-game when they do add this collectible about uh, getting this delivery for the Albany uh, Bergham, Bergham vehicle. Yeah, so then I'm also going to go to uh, Fluffball's page and check out how the... Uh, so, supposedly, there's going to be UFO a UFO event, it seems like. That's coming in GT Online. That's cool. So, gameplay footage of the final part of the sightseeing in 2023 Halloween's festival, uh, festival uh, activities, fest activities. 
there is no more to this interior and there may be more to this we have not managed to show okay and then uh suppose there's gonna be random uh halloween animal like un like undead animals or whatever that you can kill and stuff here's this There's a boar right there. And stuff. And there's more of the uh, like bob bobcat, a cougar, I mean a cougar and a pug. So yeah. But that's everything I wanted to show y'all um, and stuff that's in the drip feed of this DLC. You know why it's fucking, I don't know why the page keeps turning white as I'm going up anyway. Um, but yeah, that's all the content that I wanted to show off. Stuff in this video um, that's coming in the drift. I'm sure there's more that I don't even know about that I'm sure that I could have shown off in this video. But now this video is 11 minutes <laughs> now. But anyway, I'm gonna you know we're gonna end it, we're gonna end the video here. But anyway, guys, um, don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and don't forget to have that bell turned on so you always get notified when I upload a brand new video. And uh, let me know in the comments down below um, what do you think about most of the drift feed content, like the Halloween stuff and some of the clothing and outfit that they're, they're just adding in the drift feed of this DLC. Are you excited? Are you hype? Just let me know, okay? I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Take care, everyone.